everyone. Angelica Chuquan here, trainer at Pragmatic Works. And today in this video, I would like to talk to you about another one of the really great AI visuals built into Power BI, the key influencers visual. Before we begin, are you planning on taking the PL300 certification exam? Then check out Cert XP, a fun new way to prepare for that PL300 where you will get exposure to practice exam questions. Visit crag.work slash Angelica40 and you'll save 40% on an annual on-demand learning subscription and get access to all of Cert XP features. Now, onto the video. So the key influencers visual is, I think, one of the neatest AI visuals inside of Power BI because it allows you, the report user and developer, to understand better what is driving a certain metric that you're analyzing in your reports. It's even going to rank those factors and display the factors that are affecting your metric the most at the top. So you can see what's causing those trends within your data and you can get a better idea of what factors are contributing to an increase or decrease in that measure that you are tracking. So once you have selected the key influencers visual from your visualization pane, then you need to populate it with the data that you are working with, that you are focused on and analyzing in this data model. You can see we have a few fields we have to populate here, the analyze field, explain by, and expand by. And I'm going to talk through each of these here. And so we're going to make sense of this entire visual and talk through the different tabs, the different features, and understand this a bit better. Quick little preview and background into the data that we're working with in this example. We are looking at a data model that is focused on analyzing customer feedback from our company. Uh, that provides cloud services. And so after the support tickets come in, um, the customer gives us a rating, high or low. And so within our model here, I'll go back over to my table view so we can see. Um, our customer table you can see here is the table containing all of our AD columns linking back to those dimensions. Um, and it contains the rating, so what they rated us. Um, and so we can also look at these other tables. We have the device, um, some location, geography information here, the role, role in the organization and role ID, of course, subscription, subscription ID and type, support tickets. So we've got the support ticket ID, the customer ID, the day created, completed, if it was escalated, duration here, all in this data model. What I want to analyze here now with my key influencers visual is I want to analyze our ratings. So I'm gonna go into the customer table where ratings is located, and I'm gonna drag and drop that into the analyze field. Now you'll notice at first we don't really get any result here because there are no fields in the explain by. So we need to go ahead and start populating this explain by field with some of the other data that we have here. So whatever you choose to explain your metric that you are tracking, that you are analyzing, like ratings by, Whatever you choose to explain by needs to be able to filter down your table where your fields for analyze, like rating, how we have rating populating analyze here, where it is coming from. So it has to be able to filter. So let's take a look here and let's go into seeing geography. Let's see if the country has any impact. So I'm going to drag and drop this in. And so we'll go one by one here and you can see it's already to show a difference. So currently we can see that when the rating is more likely to be low, here's what we can see. Currently we're on top segments. I'm gonna flip over to key influencers and we'll come to top segments here in just a moment. So looking at what influences our customer rating to be low. Now we could flip this back to high and see what's influencing our ratings to be high, but for this particular report on this day, I'm kind of interested in seeing you know, why are some of our customers rating us low? What's contributing to that? And what can we do to improve it? So first, I'd like to kind of locate and see what area, what region um, seems to be more likely to rate us low. And so I can see here on this bubble, it's showing me that when the country or region is France, that it is 1.44 more times likely to uh, be that we will receive a low rating. So on average, so that's interesting. 
Now let's go ahead and let's keep adding to this. And so in addition to adding in the country and region, let's go down here the list and let's go into our role dimension. And I'm gonna take a look at role in the organization. And I'm gonna drag and drop that into the explain by field as well. It's gonna take a moment to run its analysis. And there we go, we have some additional influences here and some additional things to explain by. So now as we see this, I can see here, it says that when the role in the organization is consumer, the rating is two and a half times more likely to be low compared to all other values or all other roles in the organization. So this is interesting. Um, and it says this, this influencer contains approximately 64.15, 64.51, excuse me, percent of the data. So I love this. Um, one, it's presenting it to you still in a visual manner, but as we hover, we get some more information explained to us in this narrative, in this kind of text uh, text box that's appearing here. So that's really nice. I love this. This is great. Let's keep adding to this here and let's keep adding in factors and seeing how these start to reorder as we go. From the, uh, we'll minimize the role table and let's go ahead and take a look at subscription and I'll bring in a subscription type and drag and drop that in. It's running its analysis here. Interesting. So role in org still seems to be uh, one of the, uh, the greater influences there, but we can see when the subscription type is premier, the rating is 1.83 times more likely to be low compared to all other subscription types. So really interesting here. Let's keep going. I'm going to go in here now and uh, let's go up to the company table and let's take a look at company size and see if there's any influence there. So I'm going to bring in company size, let it run its influence. And oh, look at this here. Company size. When company size is less than 5,000, rating is 1.48 times more likely to be low compared to all other values. Interesting. Let's go ahead here and bring in one more. I'm going to go ahead and from the customer table, let's bring in theme and see if theme has any influence on this. Oh, wow. So we've got a few more in here now with the theme included. And so I can see here um, when the theme is usability, the rating is also just about two and a half times more likely to be low compared to all other values. So the key influencers visual, just a quick breakdown here. Now that we've got some data in here and we can see these results, it is made up of two tabs, the key influencers and the top segments tab. So the goal of this visual is to show you the top contributors to a selected metric. You can look at this by influencer. You can also look at this by top segments. We'll get over to the top segments here in just a moment. I wanna take a look at this here now. And so as we look at the visual that it's created for us, um, you can see a couple of things. Um, if I go back now to take a look at, let's go and see when the theme is usability. So here, when I click on theme is usability, not only am I seeing the theme for when it's usability, but I'm seeing all of the other themes that have been a part of this survey and a part of our feedback. So as I take a look at this here and I go in and I say only show values that are influencers, it goes ahead and filters that down to only shows me, only showing me the values that are influencers like speed, navigation, security, and usability. So we can see that here when you check or uncheck this box, it'll either show you all values or only show you the values that are influencers. So it's really neat in being able to do that. So you can see here, um, as I uncheck and check this, it's going to redraw that visual and update and show that uh, dynamically based on the selection that's been made. All right, let's take a look now at our segments tab. So if I select top segments, you'll notice here, uh, we have some segments. So the way that your top segments works, what this feature does is it starts by finding groupings of multiple fields, influencing the low rating. And so let's talk about this a little bit here because I do think it's kind of confusing the first time you look at this. 
So if we take a look at, let's say, segment one, the first segment here, and compare it to a couple of these other segments, really any of them here, this bubble size is smaller or about the same size as these other ones here, even though the percentage is lower. And the percentage of these three here at the end, segment four, five, and six, is the percentage is lower, but the bubble size is larger. So what is that telling us exactly? Segment four, for example, if we take a look at segment four, the bubble size is larger, even though the percentage is lower than segment one because the size of the bubble shows you the counts. And so it shows you the counts of your population or the counts of records. So in our case, it's the counts of customers for this particular segment for this grouping. So we can click into any one of these segments. I'll go ahead and just click into segment one here and take a look at this one since it's the first one and the percentage is the greatest. So as we take a look at this, what we can see is in segment one, 30, almost 31% of the rating is low when these three things are true. And you can see that is 19 percentage points higher than the average. So that's pretty significant. So we might want to take a look at this a little bit further to better understand this. And so we can see within this here, the ranking of these fields as well. So when we look at this here, we can see that when the role in the organization is not publisher, it's contributing to this. When the subscription type is premier, we can see that the rating is typically going to be low. Um, and when the theme is security. Now, what if I wanted to learn more about this particular segment? Well, you can click this little drop down here. You can see the light bulb letting you know it's running its analysis. And here's what we can see. And you can, of course, resize your visual, give you a little bit more space here on the page. Um, but we can also kind of scroll down. So what we can see here, a deep dive, if you will, as it's phrasing it, um, it shows you what would happen if you split this by additional fields. So for example, um, company size says that when the company size is greater than 50,000 with 19% of records or less than 5,000 with 3.5% of records. And in between there, what we're seeing is that with 77.5% of records, most affecting the distribution. So you can see the differences here and we can click between and see the difference and how this kind of varies and how the values change. So you can also see some other analysis, some other results that were run here and what was returned. So we've got company size and we've got the country. And so we can take a look and see, okay, France, we knew from our first key influencers analysis that this was we would see more low ratings coming from France than all of these other regions for us. And so we can see by how much. So France with 17.9% of records, UK with about 40.8 records, and Spain with about 6.1%. Um, France still affects most of the distribution in terms of when our rating is low. And so we can see that here, right, based on this gray column that we see here that's kind of in the background if you will um, and then we've got the counts of customers excuse me uh, for uh, when it is high and for when it is low here and we've got the counts of customers um, for France so counts of customer table shown here we've got the counts of customer table for France we can see 187 and then we can see 93 when it is low if we look at this for the UK, we can see that in the UK, about 447 is ranking high and 191 low. In Spain here, we can also see this analysis here if we select this. So it's nice to see the grouping of each of these segments. And you can click into these different segments right here after you've selected one. I can click into segment two, three, 
and all the way through to get a feel and understanding for how these dip different groupings are affecting what we are measuring, what we are tracking here, which is the ratings from our customers. I can also flip here and take a look at when the rating is more likely to be high. I can stay here on the top segments tab and get a better understanding of what is contributing to when our ratings are high. And so you can see these segment details overall um, as you click into each of these and you can get a better understanding on the factor, the, the metric, excuse me, that you're tracking and the factors influencing the most, um, especially when the rating is more likely to be high or low. So this is a nice way to kind of break things down. Now, just like any of your other visuals, you can go in and format this here. So we can go in and play around with these format settings here if we wanted to change the bubble color to something that fit our theme a bit better or any of these other elements here, we can go in and do so. All right, everyone. So that's the key influencers visual, a quick little overview of what it can do for you in your data analysis. So remember, you want to use this visual when you are trying to better understand how certain factors are affecting a metric, whether that metric is uh, customer feedback and ratings, and you want to see whether they're high, what's affecting them when they're high or when they're low. Or maybe when you want to see the difference in those factors, how they're affecting a metric, or when you want to rank the importance of these factors, or when you want to see how a group of multiple factors are affecting the metric that you're tracking. If you liked this video, um, please make sure to like and subscribe below so that you can stay up to date with all of the videos from all of us here at Pragmatic Works that we post. If you haven't already, make sure to check out the link in the description below to sign up for an on-demand learning subscription with us, where you can get more than just the free content we have here available on YouTube by using my code in the description, Angelica40, to save on that on-demand learning subscription, where we have a ton of paid courses available on Power BI, PL300, PL900, Azure, Power Apps, Power Automate, the Power Platform, Excel, and more. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.